Suicide Squad and IMAX 3D. Special Missions Aviator. Clinical Nurse. Pararescuer. I'm Captain Chris Niels, and we are. Wasn't that an experience in IMAX? Oh, it's an ambulance. Oh, it's a open fire truck too. Oh no, that's a paramedic. Yeah, let's just go see. Yo, what happened? I know. I don't think. Let's go. And we were watching Suicide Squad while this happened. That's insane. So I got me these new Suicide Squad shoes yesterday for the movie for my Superman socks. Let me show you this. Other pair. There you go. So you guys, Suicide Squad finally saw it. But before I start with this review, huge, huge shout out to AMC Theaters for giving out these awesome Harley Quinn posters. Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, you can't go wrong with that, right? I will treasure this forever. I'm going to be honest, this um, review took me long to make because I was thinking about this movie a lot, but then I had to watch it two times, so I did watch it on Friday in IMAX 3D, my cousin, Oscar, he loved it as well, um, so here's my ticket stub from IMAX 3D, which I will get to my experience for that, whether it's worth it or not, and then yesterday I went to the discount day, and I saw it again, this time in 2D, this time with my parents and I'm probably gonna see it a third time with my cousins in San Francisco this week hopefully I'm not confirming anything but hopefully sorry off with the characters um Jared Leto as a Joker I thought he was a very good Joker you can't really compare him to Heath Ledger but um Heath Ledger he's still a best Joker we probably ever had but um it's not really that fair to compare him to Heath Ledger but I thought he was very good. He was, you know, very psychopathic um, in this movie. Um, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Amazing job. She brought out the characters for all of us. Um, then we have... What else do we have in this movie? You know, we also have Batman in this movie, by the way. He was only in the movie for five minutes. Flash, he was only in the movie for, like, five seconds. Joel Kinnaman as... Um, what's his name? Rick Flag, I thought he was very good as a character. I actually, his character kind of grew on me after the second time I viewed this movie. We also had, um, what's his name? Uh, the guy who played Kyle Reese in the recent Terminator movie, um, Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. I, he's not really that recognizable. I thought he was disguised very well. He doesn't really look like Jai Courtney, but, um, he did a great job. Will Smith, again, he was actually very good at said shot. Um, he's one of my favorite characters in this movie. And Jay Hernandez, who played El Diablo, I thought he did a fantastic job. I'll get to his character in a while. My pros, I thought that um, it was a great direction that David Ayer went for. Um, he did make um, Fury a few years back. I love that movie. Um, the story and plot worked very perfectly fine for me, at least. I thought it made sense if you really pay attention, um, paid attention to this movie. It really did make sense and it made it a lot more simpler to follow the story with. Um, again, we already got to the acting. You know, they introduced Deadshot and Harley the most. Um, actually, both of them, there were characters that had more time to get introduced to. But with other characters such as Captain Boomerang, El Diablo, Killer Croc, they were introduced kind of quickly. But for the time that they were introduced quickly, I thought that um, they at least got to a point where they actually kind of introduced the characters well. Even though it was just quick introduction, 
Um, I just thought that I kind of liked the idea that they took more time on introducing Deadshot and Harley, um, Harley Quinn, because I do think that they're, um, the two most important characters in this movie. A lot of the dialogue in this movie worked perfectly fine for me. I really liked the dialogue. I thought it was very good. It, um, it was just very good. I had liked the writing in this movie, so that's always good thing that this movie actually did well is it didn't try to go as dark as Batman vs Superman went earlier this year but definitely did go um a little bit more lighter a little bit more lighter t um tone with this movie with a lot of humor that was used the humor really made this movie actually shine a lot and you know in both theaters that I went to there were a lot of people cracking up at these jokes and I just thought that the humor was very good in this movie and they really handled it very good. Let's be honest, one of the things that made the trailers convince us to watch this movie is the um, music choice that they used. For example, in the second trailer, I can't say the name of the song, but it was um, one of the songs that was made by Queen. And then in the third trailer, they used Ballroom Blitz, which was used very well in that trailer. And what they do in this movie is they um, use different songs to introduce each characters. And, you know, I thought that, again, the director handled to introduce the characters very well, especially the um, use of songs. I thought he chose wisely of what song he was going to introduce each character with. You know, we got introduced to The Flash, and they also, they also kind of had some introduction cards where they, um, every time they introduced a character to us, they had their, um, kind of logo, and then they had their real name, and what they like, and what they don't like, and their height, and everything, and again, those scenes were the scenes that actually looked pretty good in 3D as well, but it, I thought it was just a very good move for the director to put that into the movie. Action sequence is very well directed and very fun to watch, and I know I said this for Ghostbusters, not one time did I get bored in Suicide Squad, but this movie, again, when you have some smart dialogue, smart storytelling, and very well-directed action sequences, it's really kind of impossible to get bored during this movie. So I wrote this um, particular con, we're getting to my cons by the way, um, the, from the first time when I saw it, but the second time I saw it, I still want to share it with you guys, but it's um, not really a con anymore for me after a second time um that con was basically other characters get introduced rushed besides Deathshot and Harley Quinn but again their um Deathshot and Harley Quinn are bigger characters are bigger roles in this into this movie and you kind of need to, to have more time to introduce them than the other characters so I thought it was fair enough so it's not really con for me anymore because I did notice that again they're two most important characters in this movie and you know you really do need to take more time to introduce them than the, to the other characters. Disappointed in Slipknot, um, he was wasted in this movie but other than that let's get to my IMAX experience. One of those movies that you actually have to pay extra to go see in IMAX because it's just so amazing. You have a lot of pop out 3D where they um, every time they're cutting one of the monster's head they pop it at you elevator scene with Harley Quinn it was very good in 3D everything was in 3D it was just very good it just takes time to actually get the rate the good 3D so I say definitely definitely amazing and worth the experience Suicide Squad will be around a 9.5 out of 10 for me but for my new rating system that's my highest rating so that's the best out of the best rating for me that's how I rate Suicide Squad by new rating system. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Definitely check this movie out, especially in IMAX 3D. Hopefully I could get more into depth when I see it a third time, hopefully. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.